Hang on. I think I have to restart the game. Hopefully this does it. Also, welcome back! After some tech stuff, restarting the stream. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's not bad. Phone stuff working. Now I might have to restart the game. Let's see. Crossing my fingers that it works this time. Nope. Okay. Figured it out, figured it out, okay. <clears throat> Got it. All right. With all the technical problems over, uh, welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing some Isaac challenges today. Hooray! I'm gonna be right back. Just stub my toe, but it's all good. Gonna be playing Isaac. Woo. I started the challenge, did not get very far in it. We're gonna start over. The tank. A lot of the early challenges are pretty straightforward, just essentially a regular run with no item rooms, but some sort of twist attached at the front end. And this one is trading off a ton of health for very, very, very little speed. And I would not be surprised if more red hearts spawn than usual. Uh, fortunately, one of the help up items that we got uh, allows me to ow, break rocks just by walking over them. Uh, I do have to worry about things like bomb rocks. I can't just walk on those. I mean, I can, but I, I shouldn't. Hmm. That middle item is useless when there are no item rooms spawning. So I won't pick it up. Not that I had the chance to. 
I'll also start with, and it just it just rocked there, uh, the Mask of Infamy, which blocks projectiles from the front. Very nice. It can be a little hit or miss as to whether or not it works, but it can cut it, it, the amount of help that it will save over a run. Very nice. Very nice. Just makes me a bit tankier. Okay. That's a speed up. That's great. That's fantastic. Already negating some of the downside of this run. Lovely. Uh, I think I will open that. Good. Worth it. Arr. Alright, and there are some bombs. Cool, cool. It'll help if I can manage to get a deal uh, on the next floor and trade away some of this insane amount of health for a bit more kill power. Alright. Real quick, I'm just gonna check in that everything is A-OK. -okay. Alright. Yep, everything seems fine. Nice. challenge is probably going to be a little annoying to watch unless you like watching me get hit over and over again by things that are faster than I am. Which, you know, that's fair. Find enjoyment where you can. I'd prefer not to get hit in the face over and over again by things that are faster than I am, but it's just one of the downsides that goes along with this run. I doubt that Monkey Paw will will trigger, but uh, if I drop down to half a heart, Monkey Paw is going to drop a black heart for me, and it will do that up to three times, so... Maybe it will come in handy if I force its hand, because, uh, ha ha, it's a, it's a Monkey Paw. Anyways. I could take advantage of that and play a blood bank a lot in order to make it trigger. Arg. Arg. will be very nice to have the uh, unlocks associated with these challenges. Yeah. For example, the full health pill that I've got in my inventory that I started with, that uh, is from the April's Fool challenge that I already beat, and you can see the VOD of that up on the VOD channel. I'm going to make sure that all of the challenge run videos are clearly labeled, and I think I'm just going to do several streams where the whole theme of the stream is challenges. That seems... That seems like the easiest way to keep that sorted out. Okay. I like both of these 
This one's a DPS up, and this one, if I, if I can get some money to to utilize it, and then the other one, the little shadow that's following me, is one of my favorite item rebalances in the game. When enemies step on that, good stuff happens for me, so. Ooh, hills. Retrovision. Okay. I'm gonna pop full health now and hang on to the verp pill. Because right now this verp pill is a full health pill. It creates a copy of whatever your most recently taken pill was. So I could use it and get another full health pill. Or I could use it and get a tears up. Or an HP up, or perhaps even uh, a luck up, or a couple spirit hearts, or anything else that a pill's benefit can grant. There's some cash. <laughs> and there's my shadow at work. Each of these little guys is like having a charmed charger at my service, and for the for the room, and it's very effective. I would love to have that. I'm gonna see if I can get a nickel from this guy. And there we go. Nice. So this should prompt, and that was a damage down because I lost some cash. But it should prompt. Nice. You know, I think this would be worth it. I'm going to do it. And I think I have a plan to as well. There we go. <laughs> now, I have one heart cumulatively. I can go into this room, pop the yum heart for more health, grab this for more health restoration, and whoop, I'll be sticking with safety scissors, but I should be able to take advantage of monkey's paw to get, ouch. It worked. Uh, to get uh, more, a couple of black hearts on the ground that I can use uh, for protection for the next floor. Nice, nice. All right. So if I come up here... There we go. There's one black heart, and I don't think I can... Maybe I can, actually. No, no, that, that just cost half a heart. If I bomb myself, that should cost a full heart. There we go. Alright. So that's... Two black hearts for the next floor. And there's no red health in there. But then I can come in here and pick up the safety scissors. And now I will be able to defuse troll bombs. And I can slowly restore my red health with yum heart. Already squeezing as much out of this run as I can. Nothing I can do in, in here. Okay. All right.
Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I will. I do need more bombs. And there's Pokego coming in with added value. What's this? Yeah, okay. Acceptable. It's no full health pill, but if I use it at the right moment, I can turn Verp into several red hearts. Not bad. And the Pokego summons aren't bad either. Very nice. I'm going to bomb this. Yeah. This way I can get some cash for the damage up. And I can see if there's anything else there that I would want. The black candle would have been nice, but... I think I want to save up. Ah, oh, you got rid of my best guy. Out of two. I have. Could have at least bombed this door for me. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Particularly fun combination. Ow. <clears throat> As I was saying, a particularly fun combination would be my shadow and uh, duct tape. Because I could use it to stick my shadow uh, away from myself so that I could uh, more easily just kind of walk it into enemies instead of requiring them to chase after me. Another HP up. Mm, I could walk all the way back to the shop. Or I could not. Let's just beat this run. Yark. There's infamy coming in handy. Out of charmed enemies. This is okay. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to take this, and then this. So that way I can come out here and immediately, ow, immediately go in here. And that's a tears up, and I needed that. Uh 
Oops. And that's perfectly fine, because I don't need to go back in there. Furthermore, I'm not too worried about taking red heart damage either, because I've already seen the deal on this floor, so... <laughs> Everything is going fine by me. You know what? I'll even blow up some mushrooms. Ouch. That's why you don't want to blow up the mushrooms. But I'm not too worried about it. Infested. Interesting. Interesting. Get out! Oh, that's right. It's gonna... <laughs> I was going to try to push it up next to the secret wall because I suspected that there was one here. Bit of a mistake, though. Uh, given my speed, I probably wouldn't have been able to get away in time. It's fine. Huge shout out to Planet Cable for helping me through my technical issues. Hello. Did you miss the huge shout out that I just gave you? You showed up immediately after I said huge shout out to Planet Cable. No, but feel free to do it again. Okay, second huge shout-out to Planet Cable for being patient with me while I dealt with my technical issues. Score. got two of the guppy items, and I recently unlocked an another one in the set, so I feel like I have decent odds of becoming guppy, and I can get in and out of that room safely. I just need to be at full health when I go in. damage up. For just a nickel. Please, some health. No. You know what? Yes, chase me. See where that gets you. <laughs> Yes, the damage, the power, I can feel it coursing through me. Ow. Well, I cleared the room, somehow. I can see forever. All right. Myosotis, also known as, in common parlance, forget me not. If I don't get a better pill by next floor. Well, dang. That's another death down the drain. But I did get some coins out of it. Uh, if I don't get a better pill to use Verpon by next floor, uh, then I'll use it to get another I Can See Forever. 
so that I can access both of next floor's secret rooms without issue. Ooh, shot speed up. What have we got? Strength. I'm gonna hang on to this. Chase me down. It will be your downfall. It doesn't really work if I say chase me down, it will be your downfall. It kind of sounds repetitive. Maybe I can work on that. Ow. After this guy summons his eyes, I should be able to create a ton of my little minions. Yeah. Hang on. If I line it up... Ah, oh, it doesn't count? Ah, oh, it doesn't count! Well, I guess I'm just going to have to be super careful. Ow. And that's why... <laughs> that's why Nine Lives is dangerous. Oh, don't do that. Okay. <clears throat> Squeezy! More HP. Excellent. Woo! <clears throat> Just two floors to go, and then I get whatever... Oh, never mind. One floor. Thank you, Depths XL. Uh, that trinket that's in there on the ground is called Equality. It's useful for breaking greed mode. But it's not very useful to me at the moment. So I'll leave it be. Okay, note to self. Break the skulls after the room is over. Whenever possible. So I can do that. Oh, nice. It's more HP and some tears. Lovely. Oh, I can feel the difference already. Oop, squeeze through. Ha 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 These guys don't stand a chance against my minions. Minions! Minions! Wah ha ha! What's this? Two of clubs. Acceptable. Hmm. I could purchase that, get some red health, or I could just blow this guy up, get a nickel, and use it for the damage. Ow. I could blow this up. Get some coins from it for the damage. For the damage! <laughs> A single charmed fly. Very nice. 
Range up. Glad I got a speed up at the start of the run. That was uh, probably crucial Ow. to my success. Ah. Right, no, it's I can see forever. I've already used one this floor. Never mind. And I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable taking on the bosses in this in this state. Loki is not that dangerous if you have good stats. Say a pushover. Real quick, see if I can ow, speed run this. Create a ton of the little buggers. Yeah. Joe Thriller. <laughs> and that's the challenge completed. The Rune of Ansas has appeared in the basement. All right, real quick. Uh, I'm going to BRB. See you soon.
All right, next challenge run. Solar system. This one's going to be a wacky one. It's, uh... Oh, it's dangerous, and... Furthermore... Difficult. Annoying, even. I would go so far as to say. Uh, you'll see why. Fortunately, we start with uh, the Beelzebub transformation, so all flies will be friendly to me. Uh, but I'm blindfolded, and my only method of dealing damage uh, are these two attack flies that are circling me. Which, as you can imagine, makes things like dealing with uh, those, uh, those enemies that... Uh, rush you down and explode. A little difficult and tedious. Uh, the two flies orbiting closest to me will be able to block some projectiles, so that's nice. I really want an alternate method of dealing damage, though. And as you can see, I can't put out fireplaces or anything, so I uh, have to deal with... <laughs> Getting uh, fewer consumables throughout the run as well. Ooh. Range down. Doesn't matter. Doesn't affect me. Amnesia. That's a little annoying. But it's okay. Red Fly does a lot of damage, but... Mm, it's, again, dangerous to use. Let's see how the boss goes. <laughs> All of the flies he spawned were friendly to me, became blue flies. Sorry, Duke, your days are... better one-liners. Have you lost weight? Yes, I have. I've lost the entire lower half of my body. Which, you know, is everything below the shoulders when you're playing Isaac, because his head takes up most of his body. I'm here. Okay. Oh, it did give me more health. I'm gonna play this for all it's worth. Very nice to have some cash. I can pop in a shop, maybe get a familiar. Ah, if I'd come in here earlier, I could have used my red health on that guy. We'll see. I'll remember that he's there. And then maybe I can take better advantage of that situation. Aha. Ooh, this is good. This is also good. Range up, HP down. Uh, disappointing. The Dice Shard is an interesting consumable. It's a one-time use D6. 
as well as a d20. And I... Hmm. This is a speed up and poison touch. If I touch an enemy, that means that I've failed to hit it with... That means that I failed to hit it with the red fly, and it would be good for it to be dead. I think I'm going to take it. And now I can come in here. That's a tears up. I don't want it, so I'm going to drop my consumable and maybe re-roll that. That's acceptable. Strength. Justice. That's nice. Blech. The magician is useless to me now. Two of diamonds. Uh, oh, I can pop Joker and just get out of this. Nice. Uh oh. Aha! I survived. I would have given me health anyway, but that's fine. And then the two of diamonds means that I can take more advantage of a future shop. Except maybe... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the end. Well, I don't think they'll... Any flies that spawn, any blue flies, not the one orbiting me, but... The ones that you get from items, usually. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, those flies deal damage based off of your damage. But I don't think the ones orbiting me do. Uh-oh. Someone running the microwave. Someone may have been running the microwave. Oh, like a... I'll be leaving that. Okay. Hmm. Just a bit of housekeeping, excuse me, while I uh, grab these hearts and then trade them away. Fishtail works how I think it will, then I believe it may be the best trinket for me under the circumstances. Uh, what Fishtail does is when you gain a blue fly, uh, it gives you two instead for every one. And since I gain a blue fly every time I go into a room that has a regular attack fly, well, it should trigger a lot. We'll see if I'm right.
I'm glad that this run is a little bit more fast-paced than the last one was. Should have grabbed the nickel first, but that's fine. It barely matters. Just five cents difference. Dropped the pill. Dang, my bad. Celeste TR uh, says, What are you doing? Just unlock Yera and Perthro. The rest are worthless. Okay. While I get where you're coming from, I planned on doing all of the challenges anyways. And besides that, uh, Awaz got buffed. So Awaz is a guaranteed. Awaz is a guaranteed crawl space now. If you know what you're doing. Uh, and Degas is useful. Uh, if you like Black Candle, there's no reason not to unlock Degas. Uh, Bercano is okay. But yeah, I, I, I planned on doing all of the challenges regardless of what they unlock. This is uh, my third save file that I'm working on uh, for Dead God. And uh, the first one that I'm doing on stream. And uh, I wanted to show off basically everything. So, while I appreciate your advice, just unlock Yera and Perthro, and an addendum, it was. Uh, yeah, I want to unlock Runebag, and having the chance to get mostly, worth mostly worthless runes isn't good for me. That's true, Runebag did get nerfed, and it drops runes less frequently now, which is really annoying. Uh, but, uh, eventually we'll be unlocking more good runes for it to drop anyhow, so... Mostly I just want Rune Shard to, to, to stop showing up, you know? Ah. I'm fine with that. I've only unlocked Blank and Black Rune, Yera and Perthro. Honestly, it could very well be a good call for your save file, but I am uh, doing my best to show off uh, everything about the game. Trying to be uh, as informative as possible. Uh, I don't know why I stuck with Book of Belial. I'm mostly trying to get damage ups for the sake of the blue flies that I occasionally get. But uh, aside from it being aside from it being useful on boss rooms, I guess. Well, never mind. There we go. We got his paw. I'll take it back. There we go. Oop. Excellent. A convenient escape. And I would love to blow up these 
mushrooms, get my hands on more pills. Well, I found pills. Anyhow, Celeste TR underscore, it's, uh, if you know about them, do you know about them? If you know, you know, don't want to spoil them for you. I apologize, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be looking over at chat periodically, so my gameplay may, may suffer slightly for it. Arg! <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I, I picked up Little Brim. I haven't even used him once. Um, I know about all of the runes. Like I said, this is my third, uh, third dead god save. I actually, if you go to the VOD channel and look back at the first Isaac video, I, I wiped, uh, one of the other dead god saves. Uh, I know about the, the Tainteds, yes. Uh, other people who may be watching the streams may not know about them yet, so I'm just going to leave them as a surprise until, uh, until we get to that point in the game. Arrgh. Uh, but, uh, we'll get there when we get there. Um, if you go back on the VOD channel to the first Isaac video that I posted, I wiped one of my Dead God saves because I am actually doing one of the save files, uh, with, as, as a co-op save file with my brother. Uh, and it's been a little while since we've done that, but, uh, I wanted that one to be left alone. I mean, like, if you're watching an Isaac stream, you shouldn't expect to not be spoiled, TBH. While that's true, I would also like to point out that one of... Alright, that's fair. I would like to point out that one of my favorite Isaac experiences recently, aside from streaming it myself, has been watching a streamer who is new to the game experience everything for the first time. And probably the worst moments in that stream are when he gets spoiled, so... Gotta find a shop. I can take as many range downs as I want, because that doesn't affect me at all. Yeah, I tried getting my friend into this game, and I'm trying my best to make sure he isn't spoiled. Uh, good on you. Anyhow, do you and Planet Cable know each other? Don't want that. Ooh, I do want this. Now let's use this, but... Bombs. Um. No, lol. I think he was just welcoming a new viewer. Ah. Uh, that sounds like him. Ooh, you. Nice. Sure, I'll get that too. And. Don't really need sharp plug. Oop. I saw. I saw a steam sail in there, oh well. Um, why not? Show me the secret. Ooh! <laughs> I dropped a bunch of frames just now. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Hopefully that's not an issue again. Mom's bottle of pills is very nice, though. Ah, I should have popped two of diamonds in there. I'm getting careless. As I was saying, I want to unlock the mostly runes that I complete to unlock some more. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, T. Lazarus actually isn't uh, as bad now. I really like, I really like playing with uh, T. Laz. They're still difficult, 
for sure, but I really enjoyed playing with him. Um, and T. Eden is better too, now that uh, self-damage doesn't trigger it. Um, anyone who doesn't know what I'm saying will find out eventually. <laughs> uh, there will be a lot of those streams, I imagine. But... But yeah, I've mostly been having a fun time uh, in the more recent streams with the early game stuff. Uh, just last stream, I unlocked the Polaroid. So... Oh, that's rough. Anyway, it's nice having another Isaac fan in the chat. Uh, I'm glad you showed up. Arg. Yeah, this is what I get for glancing. It's uh, a lot more difficult playing the game and also trying my best to pay attention to what's going on with the stream as well. Uh, so I found that to be an interesting and arguably fun challenge. Uh, I have no idea how, how I'll feel about that when... Just complete a room and then look at chat. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I have no idea how I'll feel about that when it gets to the tough characters, though. I imagine I'll start to loathe life a little bit. Okay, I found pills. Useless. I'll just pop two of diamonds now. Tears down doesn't affect me. The hermit does, though. I'm gonna blow these guys up, and then... Hermit card. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Don't want to get too close to greed, because the more money I have, oh, ow, the better I can take advantage of the next shop. There we go. Ooh, lucky penny. And the better I can take advantage of the next shop, the less likely I am to die on this challenge and have to do it over again. Also, I'm in the Geometry Dash community, and a very popular thing to do is play other people's levels, but now that's all my viewer base on Twitch, and I can't play other games. Oof. That hurts. That hurts. I've heard horror stories of that. Uh, oop, ow! If you want to watch me play other games, uh, most Saturdays, not every Saturday, but most Saturdays recently, I've been playing with Planet Cable uh, Starbound. And I have other games on the docket as well for when Starbound is over. Uh, but on top of that... Oh, Celeste Tiart, uh, followed. Thanks. Uh, that... <laughs> Starbound apparently warranted a follow. Uh, let me change it out. Most recent follower. Celeste Tiart. Uh, I also play, uh, Minecraft, uh, I try to make the streams as chill as I can, uh, many weekdays, uh, mostly late at night, sometimes earlier in the day on Tuesdays. I've never played slash heard of Starbound TBH, lol. Uh, if you want to drop by next Saturday, probably next Saturday? Uh, then I guess you can find out. It's sort of like Terraria slash Minecraft genre, but in space. Arg. Last time. It's the bloat! Fighting him is gonna be nasty with little Grim. Terraria is the reason I met one of my best friends, Lol. I love Terraria. That's as good a reason as any to love a game. Uh, 
Okay, that was a mistake. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have taken the I'm excited pill. Uh oh. Don't like this very much. You know what? Have a bomb. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, this one is more likely to be useful. And I've got my eyes on black powder, because with black powder, not only do I get that back, but I can do this. And everything in that circle will take damage will be a nice alternative way of dealing damage. Bloat is like the worst boss in the game. If you check out the last uh, challenge video that I did, I, uh, I've i been doing them in order except for last time when I jumped out of order to do the April's Fool challenge. And as I'm sure you well know, every boss in that challenge is the bloat, and it was... Annoying, to say the least. It does make Maggie OP. It helped out with uh, the tank, which I did earlier this stream. Easy sack room abuse, yes. I... I actually used a sack room on on last stream yesterday uh, to get both key pieces and then re-rolled those. I haven't mentioned what it is that they do on stream yet. I was starting, I just abused Sacrum until I got Sacred Heart to start full. <laughs> I feel you. I've had days like that before, too. Ooh, sausage. I am dreading the day that I have to do the Ultra Hard Challenge. Probably going to do it before I unlock uh, the haunted chests, but after I unlock a bunch of really powerful items for the item room pool. Lock down. Oh, that's fine. I don't need luck. Speed down. I do need speed, but I'm doing okay on speed. Yeah, I've skipped that challenge. I don't blame you. I've done it twice. Both times I ended up using the leech or uh, Daddy Longlegs and Nod Leaf to cheese it. Uh, I think one time I ended up waiting probably for half an hour outside of one of the late game boss rooms so that uh, I could get the regen. Uh, the 50% chance to to activate every minute regen to, to fill me back up on health. Ooh. I want you to give me pills that will give me black hearts. I'm talking retrovision, maybe. Experimental pill. Okay. Lock down. That's acceptable. If challenges were people ultra hard would be like, uh, <laughs> you know? Bad trip. Uh, turns a spirit heart into a black heart, so that's acceptable. I hate to say it, but you're right. I'll go ahead and pop amnesia. I don't care. 
I could wait until the end of the floor, but I believe the floor is almost over. I just have to go to the left here. I should have taken one last good long look at the map first, but it's okay. There's a reason it's that specific. Everybody who has actually played the challenge, and I'm sure most people who haven't played the challenge, loathe it with a passion. It was designed to be the most annoying thing in the game, and possibly the most annoying thing in any game. Once... Once I've... Oops. Once I've completed this save file, I'm thinking about getting Fiend Folio. Uh, I've been watching a bunch of videos on it recently, and it seems quite difficult, but also fun. So we'll we'll see, we'll see. I don't know whether I will or I won't. Uh, I'll just we'll see when we get there. I might take a break from Isaac for a little while once I've once I've finished the save file and then come back to it at a later date with Fiend Folio. Ah. Arg. What's your favorite item that's been reworked since Repentance? My favorite has probably become my shadow. I got it last run, and it melted. It was probably the savior of the tank challenge. I'm going to have to get some more water when this challenge is over. Thirst. For vengeance. Started playing just after the G Fuel update. I played a small amount of after Afterbirth Plus back in the day, but that's it. Eh, that's fair. What's your uh probably D Infinity? That's a good call. D Infinity got massively improved. Favorite item is chaos, though. Yeah, yeah, chaos is okay. Uh, makes makes game breaks more interesting, to be sure. What do we got? A was. A was. Crawl space time. Chaos plus witched crown is a really fun combo. <laughs> yes, it is. Although, I don't think I've actually gotten it early in a run ever. I know I've gotten it late into a run, when it barely mattered. Like, when I was already on the final floor and almost done with the, almost done with the run. But, I would like to have it sometime early in a run. And off just how nuts it can get on stream. Ow. I finished the Cracked Crown achievement today as well. I was on one heart during most of... Uh... Let me see. Like... Oof. Uh, congratulations on that. It's, uh, it's hard. I'm actually planning on doing, uh, I guess you'd call it an event. I'm going to try my best to, uh, set it up so that I get all of the daily run achievements on the same day. 
I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but if I can, it will be a considerable flex and it will be recorded for posterity's sake. I hated doing those dailies, but now I can do them for fun. Yes. I haven't been getting special effect pills. I've just been getting stat down pills. Give me your amnesias. Your retrovisions. Your paralysises. I need the help. I didn't actually explain it aloud, uh, did I? <laughs> Uh, the false PhD will take all pills and identify them, but turn them into their worse versions. Mm, I won't bother taking that. But every time you take a bad pill, it has a positive side effect. Now to do it, participate in 25 dailies and complete two of them, then complete five in a row consecutively. Yep! Uh, that is it precisely. I plan on doing two dailies on camera in a row, like I think on a Saturday and a Sunday, or maybe a Friday and a Saturday? I, I don't remember. I worked it out. Uh, and then I would do challenges on those days as well, possibly. I'm not sure. Just use them to cap off a stream, either at the start or at the end, and uh, do that two days in a row. And then off camera, just participate in the 25 dailies. And then, uh, starting Wednesday on the fourth week, uh, do five daily runs in a row on camera in a five day long kind of Isaac event, I guess you would say. That's an easy choice. That's also an easy choice, in that I'm taking neither of them. One floor left to go. Hopefully it will go... Okay. Sure. Why not? Give me all your cash. Arg. Uh oh. One of the nice things about this item is that it can even hit flying things. So, if you like creep, but hate flying things, then this is the item for you. Not hitting that. Range down. Okay. Lock down. Any flies I get now is... Any flies I get now are going to be great. Uh, broken modem is really good, though. I want it. Yes. Alright. What was your opinion on the D1 nerf? Ah, uh, it's interesting. It makes the D1... more unpredictable. It makes it feel more like a dice item. And that's the sole reason I don't like the D10 buff. It feels less like a dice item now. Uh, because it rolls in a set pattern. But then I guess spin-down dice does as well, but D10s aren't 
strictly used as spin down dice. So that was a little frustrating to me. Uh, but the D1 feels more like a dice item now. And you can use it to turn... Uh, oof. Even though you can't use it to turn a consumable into more of the same consumable anymore, you can use it to turn a consumable into a different consumable that's better. Potentially. Uh, and I particularly like using it with trinkets to get uh, whatever trinket I could possibly want. In that way, it's it's not exactly a better mom's box because mom's box also has the doubling effect, but it is a more versatile item than mom's box to get trinkets from, if that makes sense the way I phrased it. Uh, yeah, I imagine it's good at turning cards into holy cards. Right? I haven't actually played D Lost as much since the D1 nerf in question. And I'll hold on to bad trip until I can use it to take a red heart hit. Ah. To turn it into a black heart. And it's boss time. All right, let's do this. Ow. Actually, you know, I could have used it. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a mistake. Ah! <laughs> Why did I use? I'm excited. Okay, um, we're gonna be back soon. Solely system challenge moment. Yeah, we're gonna be back soon. Uh, not doing that one again. Uh, I'll save that for sometime else. But next on the list, probably Suicide King. You were too excited. I was too excited. I got too excited. I should have done the rest of the floor, waited for I'm excited to proc more times, and then gone in the fight. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I'll be right back.
You were correct. My mic was muted. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, I just explained the rules of the challenge. I have the Ipecac shots. They home in on me. Uh... As I was saying, uh, I wouldn't say this is the best challenge, but I would say it's one of my top challenges, and definitely more so since the Laz rework. Uh, he's a lot better now. I've definitely played him on whoop, played him on camera. Oh yeah, the yeah yeah, um. That's another top one. I was thinking more along the lines of old Cantript. Cantript used to be really fun. Um, now it's just active items available now. It used to be uh, passive items. So you essentially had uh, as many metronome uses as you want per room. Which, you know, it, it was way more fun when you could get passive items in that challenge. Cantrip has a crash I found, by the way. Lol. Oh, uh, really? What is it? Yep. Oh, well, that's gonna come in handy. What a first floor, huh? Uh-huh. Alright. If you have Bag of Crafting unlocked and you roll into it, if you use it, the game crashes. Ooh. Oh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Well, I guess I'll just have to do Cantripped before I unlock Bag of Crafting. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> I imagine it would be mostly useless anyways, because using it would just pull it up, and then you'd swing it once, and it would consume something on the ground if you happened to do that, but then you wouldn't be able to use it again, so it wouldn't do anything. To skip it, you don't have to use it, you can switch between them. That's true. That's true. It would permanently disable one of the cantrip slots, which would stink. And it wouldn't be too much effort to do the challenge before uh, before unlocking the bag. That's not how the challenge works. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is how the challenge works. Because if you don't use it, then it will take up a slot in your bag for cards drop on the ground. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but you have to pick up the cards in order to see what they are, don't you? At least it worked that way before. So if you... Yeah, you can switch the slots, but... If you want to store up a bunch of cards in the slots, then... And, and you get one you don't want to use, then it just takes up that slot forever. Oh, uh, without it, it... That's really... External item descriptions tells you what the cards are before you pick them up? I had no idea. Huh. Uh, if you if you don't have external item descriptions, which I will be installing uh, as well if I do uh, Fiend Folio gameplay. Uh, but if you don't have external item descriptions... Uh, what it does is you can't see what the card is until after you pick it up. Uh, I'm familiar with what external item descriptions is. Uh, I just have never bothered to use it. I meant the crash. Oh, you can show the the crash on Discord. Okay, uh, that makes sense. Sure, why not? Why not? Oh, 
Uh, speed up. Nice. Uh, back to focusing on gameplay. Hmm. I think something may have affected the shot height. Nice. Alright, I got a message. Give me a second. I should check this. You have a good point. Hang on. Uh, there we go. All right. There we go. Okay. Not sure quite how effective Lump of Coal is going to be under the circumstances. Yeah, it looks it looks bigger. Uh, what's your Discord account name and tag? Mm hmm. I'm a little hesitant to just give that out on stream. Uh, if you if you message me on Twitter, though, uh, I can give it to you there. I don't actually have uh, Twitter linked in the stream bio yet, though. I can I can tell you what that is. None of your socials are linked here. Yeah, I know. I haven't gotten around to that. I really should attach the VOD channel in particular. Tell you what, I'll do that after the stream, but also I'll send it in chat at the end of stream as well. Oh, well, there you go. Planet Cable has you covered. Yeah, just message me on there, and uh, I will send you my uh, Discord tag and such uh, when you do. Ah. I can't see my health, so I'm not going to bother... Oh, right, that's right, I was going for the boss trap room. Nice! Can't see my health, so I'm not going to bother... Oops, sacrificing myself for the damage up this floor unless it happens on accident which you know isn't impossible messaged all right uh i'll see you after the stream then am i missing red health i'm not interesting okay all right all right moving all right along Hopefully this challenge will go better. My DPS is uh, certainly more notable than it was on the last run. Ow. I'm glad I don't have to worry too much about taking red heart damage. Thank you, first floor goathead. What a surprise. That's the sort of thing that can carry a challenge. Just gotta lob the shots right. Messed that up royally. 
I will come back and get that after I die, which I am certain to do. Ow. This is fine. Oh, hey. Uh, Mom's box. We were just talking about you. All good things, I promise. Okay, mostly good things, I promise. Equality. Not worried about that. If I get an extra cent, I'll check what that card is. Ow. Okay. So if I stand here, here, and then move... Here, and then... Okay, maybe if I move backwards. No. Here. Okay, if I stand here and then move backwards later... Yeah! Pretty fly. Here, and then move backwards later for it to hit the ground closer to where I was. Alright. Oop, nope. Is a random dice. That makes sense. Without the ability to control specifically which one it is, it makes sense that it would do a random one. Although, I suppose it would also make about as much sense for it to give you whichever one is the first one in rotation when you pick it up, which I think is the D4. I want this or not? I think I do. Over mom's box? Uh, probably not. Could be good, but I'm not too worried about my damage output. And my health is going to be difficult to stack up anyways given that I'm going to be giving most of it away at the end of each floor. Anyhow. Intentionally. Arg. Another pretty fly. Hmm. Had your chance. Hmm. Having a difficult time blowing those up. Maybe the shot needs to be lower when it hits. Okay, that's good to know. I'll take that. And enter curse room. Yeah. Oh, nice. Why not? Magician. Interesting. Hangman seems potentially more immediately useful, though. Alright, moving on. Is 
This is gonna be a long run. We're in it for the long haul. It goes all the way to the cathedral. Drink water. I remember to hydrate. Sure, I'll check this out. What does that do for me? Ah, oh, they don't leave little poison clouds. That would have been nice. I wonder if this will work, because if it sticks to an enemy and does my damage, <laughs> well, the Epic Act damage is insane. So it should be incredibly good if it does work. And if it doesn't, well, imagine it, its effect won't even be relevant unless it's hitting a boss. Hmm. Brainworm could also be good. I'm going to pick up Brainworm for now. See if it has a good effect. That looks like a good effect. <laughs> and then I'll pick up Nose Goblin for the boss and see if the extra damage output is worth giving up the utility of uh, the brain worm. Probably not with that uh, luck down. And that's the third pretty fly, and I just shoved this out of the way. Hang on. Convenience. Hmm. And callous. Interesting. I'll have to remember that's there. Brainworm may be too good to pass up. I think I might even be willing to swap out Mom's box for something else. Mm, do I know what this pill is? It's pretty fly. It's useless to me now. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh yeah, that's just too good. Brainworm is making a mockery of this challenge. this keeps up, it'll be done in no time. But also, I really should not have shot immediately before going into that room. And also, I should really sh stop shooting right now. Okay, what does this do? If I shoot, does it come back anywhere near me? They seem to be coming down in random areas, which I don't like. I don't like that very much at all. So goodbye, Ouroboros work. <laughs> Should remember to check out the shop. Okay, that's not useful. <laughs> Just 
watching it curve in midair is hilarious. You know, that would have been an ideal situation for a bomb. All of the little spiders would have run straight through it. I could have laughed in their faces. No, little spiders, you will not get me today. Ha oh. ha. Probably going to hate myself for this, but I won't. I need to see what happens. Yes. Okay. That's about what I expected. I think I'll take this instead. <laughs> the flies that I get from this thing are going to be nuts. Definitely seems more worth it than whatever that mess was. Hmm. I'm drowsy. Sure. Yeah. I'll take that. Go over and get that, it's probably not worth it. Thank you. Bum, bum. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Okay, that one wasn't as worth. Interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't go there. have been to the shop. Right, I remember that. Right. Aha! Here goes nothing. Obliterated. Thank you, and thank you. Ah, oh, and it didn't kill me. And if I had taken them in the reverse order, it would have, because I would have gotten Leviathan, I would have gotten the black hearts from that, and it would have cost all my red hearts, and the rotten baby would have cost spirit hearts, and I would have died. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, well, it's fine. How long has it been since I accidentally moved my mouse on screen? I hope not too long. Getting in there the cheesy way. Ooh. Sure, I'll take anemic again. Somehow. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, free anemic. 
Isn't that the greatest item to get while playing as Laz? Not worth giving up brain one. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha Quick on the draw with that one. Don't care for it. I'd rather keep the I'm drowsy. That, that was a secret from there. I have probably hit the spider and fly cap by now, which means I should probably stop using this item. For now. Uh, I should definitely drop by the shop. I have enough cash to utilize one, for sure. And I believe I've seen both of the greeds. Wah. What's this, then? Two of hearts. Oh, hey. Nice. Ouch. That's not going to help. I'll just bomb him. Boom. Boom. Alright, boss time. Why not? B -b 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 boss time. Destroyed. Backstabber, I don't care for. But... I will take seven seals. Because a seven seals is a good item, no matter what... Oh, conjoined! Oh! You're right, conjoined. That could have gotten super wacky. And I could very easily have died. <laughs> but why not? That's why you use external item to Yep, yeah, that's that's a good reason to use it. That's that's true. But hey, there's still two more deals to go, and e both of them could easily contain a little Brim, or a Sister Maggie, or something to that effect. I can guarantee you that once I get external item descriptions, it's going to be a long time before it becomes second nature to me to check to see what the transformation progress is. Yeah, boss is probably down. If I use it now, it'll be a waste, so I'll save it until after a lot of them run into something. Oof. Okay. Don't get hit. Yep, that seems like good advice. In fact, I'm going to go through the other rooms and scour them for uh, secret room opportunities and... Super secret room opportunities and um, 
Special rocks. Let's see. Could also be here. Or there. Or there. Nothing? Okay. Um, likely secret room here. Okay. All right. I'm not seeing anything. I'm thinking the best course of action will be to fight the boss, but to pop I'm Drowsy. So I'm going to do that. Blast Assist. Okay, Blast, blast Assist is going to be eaten alive by my spider army. I won't even shoot. There we go. It has worked out. Hey, and there we go. Headless baby. There's conjoined. Well, would you look at that. And I've got my red heart back now, too. I'm going to stick with compost. It's far too useful. Oop. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yep, that's about what I expected. This is going to be a doozy of a run. Conjoined, Pog. I'm going to die. Oh, well, that's convenient. Too bad I can't take it. No. Uh-oh. Ah. I'm just going to use it all. I think it is no longer prudent for me to use my shots. Speed up and your feet feel stronger. Well, that's a little HP, so that's nice. I immediately got hit again, though, so that's annoying. And uh, I did not need spike protection. But it's the thought that counts, I suppose. You're... Ah. Oh, Fanny Pack tried to do me dirty there. I'm going to step out of the room. Step into the room. Pop it again. Yeah. Oh. Now this is interesting. Guppy's collar. And I'm Guppy now. Money equals power. And I have a negligible damage up. Okay. Oh, final floor. Let's bring it home. That's okay. Thanks for the Spirit Hearts game. I appreciate it. Brainworm MVP this one. The massive spider army isn't too bad either. So thank you, Compost. That's Suicide King done. Speaking of which, Suicide King has appeared in the basement. All right, going to take another quick uh, break, and then we'll be back with 
Probably the last challenge of the stream. See you soon. Right, picking right back up where we left off. Next challenge is Cat Got Your Tongue. This one's gonna be annoying. Okay. Yep. It's fairly obvious the deal is with this from the start. Um, yeah, not worth it. Yep, there we go. Hmm. Not the ideal first boss item, but that's okay. Uh, Joker. This could either be really good or really bad. I have yet to see which. Why not? I think it's gonna be good. Okay, okay. Wooden cross is good. I think I'm gonna stick with it. I was tempted to go with Mom's toenail, the trinket, uh, so that potentially I could get things with uh, the foot that stomps down periodically from that. But uh, 
saving me from one hit may be better than occasionally hitting enemies or hitting me. And I was prepared to make that choice back when I thought there were no other trinkets on the floor, so. No, fly, let me finish him off. What's in here? Not worth it. Not worth it. All right. Check the sack room. No item room to check, so moving on. Alright. So this one's gonna be shorter. Maybe I could squeeze in a uh, fifth. I'm not sure. We could do an another attempt at uh, solar system, perhaps. That would be nice. Gotcha. I find it interesting to see how future uh, balance changes uh, affect challenges with starting items that have gotten changed in some way. Makes for an interesting uh, thing to consider, I suppose. I, I don't recall off the top of my head what I was thinking of when when that came to mind. But if it comes up, I'll be sure to ow. I'll be sure to bring it up again. I may have already. It just eat a bomb. What? Interesting. That's an alternative form of damage. And I'll have a red heart at the start of the next floor. Man, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. The. Mm, man, if I get nine. If I get nine gold. Four, four point five gold. This is still gonna be better. This. There we go. Mic pop. <clears throat> Watch out. Uh, secret room. Probably there. I might check for it when I make another pass. Aha! Secret rock. Yeah, okay. This isn't so bad. Yeah. I think this would literally just prevent me from winning the challenge if I did that. So I won't. I don't think there's anything worth diplopia ing on this floor. Diplop duplopia. If there was, I might have considered buying it. And there's a chance that I would have gotten something uh, that I could have used to deal damage from from the sacrificial altar, but I 
don't like my odds of that. Nope. I do not like my odds of that one bit. Be prepared to see a lot of this woogling and waggling. About four more floors of it, in fact. is going to be better than Wooden Cross. Because if I can get Wisps at the start of each floor, then I have an alternative source of damage for at least a little while. A way to shoot tears, even if they're not my own. Should perhaps have saved that key. Oh well. Down. There we go. Yeah, stay put. <laughs> gotcha. It only took most of what I had. <laughs> All right. Now I've got wisps. I have something I can shoot with. one way of doing it. And if I can stack up more wisps, yes, it's all coming together. Good for you. And is it? Is my mic muted? Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was. Uh, I briefly thought it was, too. You mentioned it last time. So I was uh, very concerned. Uh, yeah, no, I, I wasn't. I was trying to focus a little bit more. I'm sorry. Um, you mentioned it last time, though, so I was very concerned about, uh, whether or not that was actually the case, so I made, I, I took special care to, uh, whoop, to double-check this time, when I came back. Uh, but yeah, if I can retain these wisps and stack up more, another four at the start of the next floor, or maybe just two, I'm not sure. Middle ring might be six max. Oop, well, four would bring me to six now. Thanks a lot, red maws. guy. It's a guy. Okay, now I got that up.
goes, well, it provided me a non hairball way of dealing damage for a long time, so I definitely still think that this trinket is worth it. Smallest and stupidest of enemies can get under your skin when you can't do much about them at all. Uh oh. Okay. Get that guy. And then. The flies can take care of the rest. Okay. That's acceptable. Whoop. Ah. Whoop. Get them both. Okay. Uh, sure. I'll take this. Why not? What have we got? Nice. Not nice, but glad it's identified. Range up, doesn't affect me. I found pills, doesn't affect me. Temperance. I'll hang on to it, I guess. Could come in here. Probably won't, but it could. No. Okay. Uh, you, you take care of this fly. Thank you. Alright, this isn't so bad. Ah, ha, ha. There we go. And that's a damage up. So all of my flies are better, and I'll just move on. Nice, nice. Ah. One wisp gone already. And likely more to come if these ones end up bullets at me. Oh, oh, there we go. Whoop. Ah, oh well. Still worth it. Mm hmm. guy's gonna create a skeleton. Nope. Okay. Ah. Yeah. I have 19 bombs. I could stand to use some of them a bit more offensively. I have 21 bombs. I should be using some of them more offensively. You maybe not like that. That works. Alright. What's this? Health down. Disappointing. Mm hmm. Alright. This could be good. Does this work? Mm, it's okay. I'd like nine volt. That would be very good. Mm. Hmm. Not worth giving up the head for. Ooh. Yes, instant take. All right. 
If I get two more HP this floor, which I'd like to, then I can go back there and get a mini meat boy who will do most of my damage for me. I regret everything. Nope. I could have stood to have played the shop revo a little bit more. Oh well. like this. You take it. Okay. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Let's do this. Hello, the gate. And here is another case where external item descriptions would be a good idea. Let's see if this gives you a black card or not. I'm pretty sure it does. Time to check the brick It does. Good. It's a black card. Got changed, and somebody at Platinum Guard didn't update it. That seems. Oh well. There we go. Okay. Living on the edge. Well, that works. HP up. HP up. Damage down. Dang. Damage down is annoying. I really wanted that damage. It was making my flies better. But having the HP up is good. Uh oh. This is trouble. Please give me a heart. Please give me a heart. Okay. Please give me a heart. If you pay out with the item, I swear. Okay. Please. A heart. 
Please, please, please. Yes. Okay. Now. Ah. Are you going to pay out with anything? Yes. That. No. Are you kidding me? Okay. Heart. Heart. Please. Yeah. Come on. My last wisp. Yes. No. Yes, yes. No. <laughs> ah! You have got to be kidding me. Well, my other trinket does nothing now, so. Ah. Wah. That is a tapeworm. It's called the hookworm. Zip zoop. Uh, if I was firing tears, then you would see what it did, but I'm not, so you don't. Technically, there is a different trinket in the game called the Tapeworm, but it is a worm. So you're not incorrect, strictly speaking. I just told you you weren't incorrect. Why are you doubling down on this? Do you want me to, 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 to try to find the, the actual trinket? I can. Does this work? No, because I'm going to bed soon, lol. I see. Well, so much for the final shot. Room. Nothing of use. What about in here? Fuck up. Okay. Paralysis. I'll just pop it so I don't have to worry about taking it in flight. But, uh. A little bit worried. You could say that. I think. Wait. The Emperor. Yeah, the game wants me to go into the boss fight. You know what? This is actually good. I'm going to look through other rooms, and it feels like I'm going to... 
come out at a loss, I will pop the Emperor instead. This gives me the freedom to check out the other rooms. Red health, red health, get me red health. Yeah. I'm going to blow those up. Yes. Okay. I got this. X-Lex, again. Okay. Okay. All right. This is it. It's go time. Never. Let's beat this challenge. It's Red Mom. Interesting. I make circles and then tighten the circle against the side that she pops out on. That's it. It's over. Ha ha. Challenge one. Woo. And the rune of algis has appeared in the basement. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm not feeling like I have the patience in me for another attempt at the solar system challenge. We'll do that another day. Um, it's been two and a half hours. See you possibly maybe next Friday for more Isaac. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but probably see you next Saturday for some Starbound and maybe for some Minecraft uh, between then and now. <laughs>